Hallo Leute und willkommen zurück zu Air, Air Production. Hier ist Robby und wir spielen Game Jail Impact. Das müsste jetzt schon Part 12 sein. Und das wird wieder so ein Spoiler-Part. Weil wir immer noch bei dem Event hier sind. Ne, das war hier. Genau. Festaufträge. Wir machen jetzt die Festaufträge weiter. So wenigstens so ein bisschen. Und hoffe ich, dass die hier aktuell durchballert bis zu dem, wie weit es geht. Und dann schauen wir mal. Geh zu Forinas Residenz. Machen wir doch. Da ist es doch. Okay, I'll go knock on the door. Du machst dich gleich ins Hemd. Furina, endloser Solotanz. Furina, die einst als Hydroakron. Alter! Spoiler doch gleich von Anfang an. <lacht> Über dem Opernhaus thronte und auf allen unter ihrer Hera herabblickte. Hat nun die Bühne verlassen und ist der Welt der Sterblichen betreten. Und obwohl sie nicht mehr die Rolle der Göttin spielt, wird sie doch noch immer von vielen in Fontaine als eben jene verehrt. Ihre Leidenschaft und Esprit lassen sich nun mal auch nicht über die Nacht ablegen. Mit übersprudelnden Emotionen und mitreißenden Geschichten müssen die Aufführungen weitergehen. Nur muss Furina von heute an endlich nicht mehr von oben auf alles überblicken. Und auch wenn ihr Leben als Göttin vorbei sein mag, sie hat doch ihr Leben als Mensch womöglich gerade erst begonnen. Göttin ist, Göttin ist in Anführungszeichen. Ich muss jetzt die Story wissen, ey. <lacht> Lady Farina, please allow me to introduce myself. I am Xavier, a film director. Hello. Oh, is that the traveler in Paimon I see behind you? And who's this? I'm Chiori. Ah, oh, the one from Chioria Boutique. Hello, hello. <lacht> So, what are you all doing here? Uh, do you need something? Si, senora. Did you just get up, Farina? It's already past noon, you know. <laughs> um, Paimon. Huh? Oh, I... Uh, Paimon means the weather is so nice in the afternoon and the sun is so warm. Just like how you make us feel. Sleeping in late is a really smart idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. I was just up late last night reading some novels. Uh, what does sleeping in have to do with the weather? <clears throat> This is a small gift we've prepared for you, Lady Farina. We hope you like it. No need to be so formal. I'm just a regular person like everyone else now. Oh, is this Fontanalia Moose? <laughs> It's one of my favorites. That's great! So, actually, there's something we need your help with. Given your renowned passion and understanding of drama, I would like to ask that you serve as the director of our film crew. Oh, but didn't you just say that you're a director? Yes, but for this particular project, I'm mainly working as a producer. Besides, I'm sure that your understanding of the performing arts far surpasses my own, Lady Farina. Are the Traveler and Paimon also part of the film crew? Yep, we sure are! Paimon's the clapper loader and she's the camera operator! Camera operator? That can be a pretty technical job, and it directly affects the final quality of the film. Are you really up to it? Ich habe schon no, I'm not questioning your abilities. It's just that I've never really seen you use a camera before. Maybe you can come up with a test for the Traveler and see for yourself. If she can satisfy you with her camera skills, then you'd have nothing to worry about and can join the team. What do you say? 
Uh, you sure are getting better at rolling with the situation, Paimon. Hmm. Oh, I do wish to see how skilled the Traveler really is with a camera. Alright. How about this? We'll work with what we have. I'll give you some scenarios and see if your work is up to my standards. Very good. It's essential for the camera operator to understand the director's vision. I'll make my decision after seeing your work. Are you ready? I have high standards, you know. Ich bin immer bereit. Okay. Grab the camera and I'll give you a scenario. Filmthema der Regisseurin Furina. Ich stelle die Inhaberin der Bermond-Werkstatt war schon immer stolz auf ihre Schmiedemaschine, die nicht nur präzise Kraft und Temperatur regelt, sondern auch keine Mühen des Schmiedes erfordert. Wir drehen einen Werbefilm für ihre Werkstatt. Und vergiss nicht, die Überlegenheit der Schmiedemaschine hervorzuheben. Ah, das ist wie dieses Minispiel schon davor. Kriegen wir locker hin. Brauche ich keine Hilfe. Du brauchst eine Szene, die die bomer werkstatt zeigt. Da. Erzählung. Gibt hier nur eine. Da. Dies ist von der Regisseurin Vorine festgelegt. Inhalt der Erzählung. Du brauchst eine Szene, die die Schmiedemaschine bei der Arbeit zeigt. Da. Da. Ist ja ein Easy. Du brauchst eine Szene, die Estelles entspannte Arbeitsatmosphäre zeigt. Da. Da. Es geht halt locker. Du brauchst eine Szene, die viele Kisten voller Waffen zeigt, die in der Bomi-Werkstatt hergestellt werden. Wenn es so leicht ist. Du brauchst eine Szene, die die Bomer-Werkstatt zeigt. Die Kammer passiert mit dem weitesten Blickwinkel nämlich eine großmögliche Sicht um die Umgebung, wobei es allerdings schwierig ist, die Details zu erkennen. Die Kamera so liegt zwischen total und bla bla bla. Halb total. Total. Du brauchst eine Szene, die die Bomay Werkstatt zeigt. Ja, ganze, oder? Du brauchst eine Szene, die die Schmiedemaschine bei der Arbeit zeigt. Das hat man. Das war easy. Du brauchst eine Szene, die die Estelles entspannte Arbeitsatmosphäre zeigt, haben wir auch. Du brauchst eine Szene, die viele Kisten voller Waffen zeigt, haben wir auch. Du brauchst eine Szene, die die Bomer Werkstatt zeigt. Ja, das oder das. So wahrscheinlich. Weil das ist ja nur der Schmied, nicht die ganze Werkstatt. Keine Ahnung, du. Film einfach. Keine Punkte bekommen. Ist nicht so wie das andere. All the shots had a great composition, and I could really feel a connection to the characters and their lines. Also, wie läuft dein Urteil? Yeah! Does that mean you agree to be our director, Farina? <laughs> Did you think I would agree just like that? <laughs> After our performance of The Little Oceanid, I've begun to make a name for myself again, you know. In fact, I've already had several troops approach me for the Fontanalia Film Festival. Unfortunately, the scripts were all pretty boring and didn't pique my interest. If others were to find out I agree to work with you so easily, then, well... Hey, but didn't we have a deal? What else do we need to do to convince you, Farina? Uh, well, what about the pay? Huh? You know, how much you're willing to pay me to be the director? The pay is also an important factor for me to consider, you know. 
Well, uh, I can offer you this much. <laughs> what? That's all? If Nervulet were to hear of this, he could charge you with underpaying your labor. I'm sorry, but our crew is in a tight financial spot at the moment. I see. Well, even though it's highly unlikely now that I'll join your crew, there's still something I'd like to ask. Exactly what film are you planning to make? Oh, uh, our script is an adaptation of The Two Musketeers. Huh? Wait, you mean the suspense thriller novel that was a number one bestseller? Oh, so Farina's read it too. Of course I read it. I've always had a keen interest in artistic works that strike a chord with the populace. Sicher. I see. It all makes sense now. You must have used most of the budget to pay for the copyright. Uh, not really. The novel's author transferred the copyright to me practically for free once he heard that I wanted to make a film adaptation of the story. The lack of budget is due to another issue. He probably just wants to get his name out there. So, Mora isn't the most important thing to him right now. It reminds me of a delivery courier who wears one of my designs while traveling all across Tavat. I didn't charge her much for the outfit either. The exposure she provides for my brand is well worth it. Uh... So, are you a big fan of this story, Farina? Well, uh... It's all right. The pacing of the story is good, but the character relationships could use some work. When I was reading it before, I always felt like some things were left on a rather unsatisfactory note. I have him, Mr. Xavier. If, hypothetically speaking, I agree to be the director, how much freedom would I have in terms of script revisions and creative interpretation? Oh! Oh, as much freedom as you would need. I wouldn't dare doubt the tastes of Fontaine's greatest star. Good. Then I'm free to alter the script as I see fit. Uh oh Absolutely no problem. It's still the producer and Furina. It seems that your crew really can't go on without my care and direction. So, you agree? Yes, I agree. Although the pay is well below what someone of my caliber deserves, a great script calls for a great director. I mustn't let a perfectly good story be ruined due to lack of funds. If you have fine cheese and bread, you wouldn't just let it sit on the counter and get moldy just because you lack an oven, right? Thank you, Furina. Oh, Hydro Archon above! I'm not dreaming, am I? Somebody pinch me. There's no more Hydro Archon, you know. And it's still a little early to celebrate. Wie du weißt, es gibt keinen Hydro Archon mehr. Ah, gar keinen mehr? Oh, die spoilern mich die ganze Zeit. Das gibt's nicht. Ich muss aufhören, sowas zu lesen. There's a lot that goes into shooting a film. Although the trickiest tasks of finalizing the script and casting the actors have already been taken care of, we'll still need to reserve filming locations. Not to say set up lighting and props. And uh, by the way, since we'll be filming the two musketeers, we'll need to find an action choreographer. Ideally, a professional who has actual experience with muskets. Yes, I've thought about this as well. I was hoping that you might know someone who could handle the job. Me? Hmm. If this was before, I could have simply asked Lorand. But it's already been some time since I last talked to her. Navia can also use firearms. But, unfortunately, her style is quite different from that of the characters in the story. Could we ask the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol? Oh, you mean the Special Patrol's Musketeers? Yes, that's right. They work with muskets every day. I can't think of anyone more qualified than them. They would be under Nervilet's jurisdiction. Unfortunately, I, uh... 
don't have any connection with them at all. <laughs> hmm. So, in the end, we still have to start by talking to Nervalet. No need to go to all that trouble. I know their captain, Chevras. Oh, you do? Wait, Chiori, how do you know the captain of the Special Patrol's Musketeers? No particular reason. Running a business means dealing with some trouble from time to time, and she's helped me out on a few occasions. In return, I've helped her handle a few situations in which the Special Patrol couldn't get involved directly. So, we've gotten to know each other over time. Uh, so you're saying there's been times when the Special Patrol needed a fashion designer to handle a situation? Your work is becoming more and more mysterious. <laughs> Paimon. Auf den... Na, wie sagt man, den Nagel auf den Kopf getroffen, ne? It'd be best to keep it that way. Anyway, enough about that. What do you all think about asking the captain to be our musket action choreographer? She sounds professional enough. She is a captain after all. <laughs> I have no objections. But I imagine the special security and surveillance patrol must be busy with their duties. Do you think she'd really have time to help with shooting a film? And then there's the issue of pay. Well... It just so happens that she's also not the kind of person that's just after Mora. As for whether she has time, I'll have to go and ask her first. Then I'll leave that to you. Macaroni's on sale today, so I've <laughs> got to go. You can just tell me how things went when we discuss tomorrow's plan later. No problem. <laughs> Having Farina join feels like a big boost to our team. Of course. Just wait until the day of our premiere. You'll witness the true power of my name in these lands. <laughs> You'll be so glad I agreed to help. I can guarantee that even the standing tickets will be sold out. I'll be sure to ask some people I know to see if they'd be willing to act as extras. <laughs> Seems like you're finally getting more comfortable with your own reputation now. I didn't ask for the Clapper Loader's commentary, Paimon. Ich bin schon gespannt auf die Premiere unseres Films. Let's get going. I happen to know where Chevrolet is today. By the way, I'm curious. If my pay is so low, then what about our two lead actors? Didn't they travel here all the way from Inazuma? Actually, they told us that they see the trip as part of a cultural exchange, so they didn't ask for any pay. What? So is every person into that who doesn't want money gathered here to shoot this film? Don't tell me Chiori isn't being paid either. <laughs> I already knew Xavier from before. And he's also agreed to give my brand some good exposure. It seems the gods have really smiled upon you, Xavier. And that certainly doesn't include me, mind you. Ich glaube, von den ganzen Ar Arkons gefällt mir Furina am wenigsten. Besides the macaroni, I should also pick up some tomato sauce. <lacht> Aber ich weiß nicht, was jetzt im neuen Ark gemacht hat oder in neuer Vision. Deswegen kann ich nicht urteilen. Aber der erste Eindruck damals war, sie ist nervig. Hat mir gar nicht gefallen. Ah, stimmt, ich hab die ja vor letztes Mal gesehen. Da hinten ist sie. Das war die wahrscheinlich, wo ich noch nie gesehen habe. Alright, this is the place. The one with an eye patch reading in front of the newsstand. Oh, her! Paima could tell there was something different about her. She seems kinda intimidating. <laughs> Please wait here for a moment. 
I'll go fetch her. She's working now, so you might not want to get in her way. Working? But isn't she just standing there and reading a novel? Just trust me. Oh! All right, let's see what happens then. She already sure is a mysterious person. She claims just to be a fashion designer, but she knows all these powerful people. The Court of Fontaine isn't particularly tolerant of visitors from overseas, so it isn't easy for a foreigner to promote their brand here. Even more so in the competitive world of fashion. Even a local like me just trying to make a film has to face all kinds of challenges. So I can only imagine what Chiori has been through to get where she is today. I'm sure that having more connections has definitely worked in her favor. Reading on the job? Detective novel. One main character? No. Multiple. Branching storylines. I see. How's the plot coming along? One of the main characters is about to make a choice that will affect the rest of his life. I'd wager he's going to make the wrong choice. <laughs> anyway, to speed things up, there's something I need your help with. You know that doesn't depend on me. It all comes down to what the character chooses. Which is exactly why I'm here to help. <sighs> All right. It appears he made the wrong choice in the end. Halt! Huh? W what's going on? Hand over whatever you're holding. Oh, it's just a book. I didn't buy anything else. Then I'm sure you wouldn't mind letting me have a look. Excuse me, officer. I don't mind you standing around here, not purchasing anything. But I'd prefer if you didn't disturb my customers. It's bad for business, you know? Don't give me that act. You won't be able to get off so easily either. <laughs> so, so me. I am Chevras, Captain of Fontaine's Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. I will say this one last time. Hand over whatever you're holding at once. And before you do anything unwise, let me remind you that I'll have you on the ground before you can even think about making a run for it. Uh, all right, all right. But please let me say something first. If there's any contraband in that book, then the shopkeeper here is the one who slipped it in. I don't have anything to do with this. Why, you trying to leave me on the hook, huh? You were the one who said you wanted it. Save it for the interrogation room. Take them away, Latelier. What's going on here? One second you're reading a book, and the next you're escorting people away! And who are... Oh! Aren't you the traveler who's been all over the papers recently? Chiori, I'm assuming what you wanted to ask me about has to do with them, right? Ah, maybe I can let you in on what's happening then. Now that Vache has been brought to justice, no new shipments of synth will be made and distributed to sellers. The Fontaine guards have been busy collecting the remaining synth still circulating on the market. Das mit Vacher habe ich noch gemacht. Aber für euch ist immer noch ein, <lacht> ein Spoiler. Thanks to a tip from our reliable source here, this should be the very last batch. Oh, so you were pretending to read a book in order to catch the bad guys! Oh, Paimon almost forgot to introduce ourselves. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler and Xavier! Hey, I'm Chevras. You probably already heard me introduce myself, so I won't bother repeating it. Yeah. Why didn't you make a move as soon as you had the chance? Were you worried that my intel wasn't accurate? No, I wanted to see if the shopkeeper would turn himself in first. All he had to do was come up to me and say that he didn't know where the synth had come from. If he did that, then I wouldn't have had to press charges on him. He had the whole day to turn the synth over to Chevrus. But instead, the moment I came up and blocked Chevrus' line of sight, he took the opportunity to sell it off. Yep, he made the wrong choice, even though the right choice was right there in front of him. But you knew they wouldn't make the right choice. Yeah, I knew. 
I was just hoping I'd be wrong for once. Eh. Enough about that, though. What did you want to ask me about? Oh, you see, it's like this. The Two Musketeers. You certainly have a good eye for a story. So what do you need me to do? Just be the action choreographer for the actors? Yes, that's right. I want to make sure we get all the details right. I want the actor's posture and understanding of firearms to be as realistic as possible. However, I'm afraid this work will require a bit of your time, since you'll have to be present whenever we're filming. Also, as for the pay... No need to say any more. I'll join. <laughs> huh? Just like that? Really? You're willing to help us with our humble film project? Sure, it's no big deal. As I said, we've wrapped up our investigation here, so I don't have any other tasks on my plate for the moment. Besides, I personally really like this novel. I even have the collector's edition at home. Stories where justice prevails over evil never get old for me. <laughs> then we've got a deal? Yes, I'll see you on set tomorrow. Oh my, I can hardly believe it. I should tell Lady Farina immediately. Oh, and I must tell the prop manager and lighting technician to get everything ready. We start filming tomorrow. Calm down, Xavier. The film is going to take more than just a day to finish. Still, I should also head back now and start preparing the actors' costumes and makeup. All right, guess that's it for today then. Traveler, Paimon, please stay for a moment. I have something to tell you. Then I'll take Xavier back. Poor thing. He's so excited that he can't even walk straight anymore. <sighs> I don't want to spend our first day fishing our producer out of the fountain. <laughs> Is he on board? Yep. See you tomorrow. Musty. So what did you want to tell us, Chevres? Have you read The Two Musketeers? Ich weiß es darüber. Ich habe es noch nicht gelesen. The story is about a pair of children born into the household of a baron and their struggle to survive together and take revenge for their mother. They were raised at the baron's estate where their mother worked as a maid. The two were illegitimate children that the baron had with the maid, so they were never treated well by anyone. One day, upon returning home, they found their mother had been murdered and left dead on the floor. It was quite evident that the culprits were the other members of the Baron's household, who never had any kind words to say to them. However, the Baron was able to exert his influence and keep the whole thing under wraps. The mother's death was eventually deemed as a suicide, and there was no chance of bringing her murderers to justice. The two siblings decided to flee and someday avenge their mother. Many years later, members of the Baron's family suddenly started turning up dead one after the other, all killed by gunshot. A rainbow rose was found on each of the victims' bodies, being the flower that the kid's mother liked best. The Baron believed that the mother's soul had come to take vengeance on him, so he lived in fear each day. But it was actually those two siblings who had fled all those years ago. They relied on each other to survive, and trained day and night, eventually becoming adept musketeers. They used all of their abilities to collect evidence and clues before executing their plan and exacting revenge on the Baron. Their actions let the truth behind their mother's death be known to all. That's quite an exhilarating story. Yep. The Baron got what he deserved for his evil deeds, and justice was able to prevail. It was just the kind of story I enjoy. Oh, so is that why you were so willing to join our crew, Chevras? <laughs> you could say it was one of the reasons. What's the other? Oh, you mean there were other reasons too? It comes. I've read the reports about you. Whether it was at the trials or when you lent your hand to resolve our nation's crisis. You've shown that you've got a strong sense of justice, as well as a great mind for deductions. What do you mean by that? Yes, you're as sharp as I expected. It seems you've experienced many similar situations before. There's been a recent murder case involving muskets. The perpetrator's methods appear to be very similar to what is described in the novel. Huh? Really? But Paimon didn't see anything about that in today's papers. The Marachose Phantom hasn't yet released any information to the public, because the investigation is currently at a standstill. The murderer is extremely cautious. A murder involving...
evolving firearms. But not that many people use those in Fontaine, right? Could you see what else I'm saying? Impossible. We perform a routine inspection of our firearms and ammo reserves every day. If one of the weapons had been fired, it would stick out like a sore thumb. Besides, I trust the members of my platoon. However... Well, that's all I can disclose about the case today. Huh? What do you... I hope you all can go back and get some shut-eye. You can decide tomorrow whether or not you'd like to join the investigation with me. I'm aware this might not be the ideal time to add more to your plate, but... The more capable people we have, the better the chances that justice will prevail. Can I not from the Carrying out investigations isn't actually supposed to be our responsibility. Our job is to apprehend the perpetrators. Finding them is really up to the Marachose Phantom. You could say I'm taking part in the investigation out of personal interest. I don't want people to see muskets in a negative way, and also... I'm concerned about the similarity between the crimes and the story. You mean, they might be connected somehow? I suspect so. Just to make myself clear, this is not an order, nor is it a deal of any kind. It's a request, nothing more. If you two have any interest in the case after we finish filming tomorrow, and are willing to assist me, then I would be most grateful. Hmm... What do you think, Traveler? Es war ein langer Tag. Lass uns morgen darüber nachdenken. Yeah, you're right. Everyone's getting a little tired too. We've really been hustling all day. You'd better head back and get some rest. It's good to keep a calm mind, especially when you're about to make an important decision. Otherwise, when the moment comes, you might end up like that shopkeeper and not even realize that the right choice is right there in front of you. <laughs> Katastrophe, das war ein langer Akt. Die labern und labern und labern. Für 20 Jogestein. Fiktion und Realität innerhalb und außerhalb des Rahmens. Aber noch zwölf Tage Zeit. Ich mache jetzt die normale Story weiter hier. Katastrophe. Vom Land inmitten des Monolith. Ach so, du musst erst Abenteuerstufe 23 haben. Katastrophe. Was machen wir denn so lang? Das ist erst 21. In der letzten Ge Zeit gibt es Gerüchte um einen sogenannten Helden der Nacht. Alibi des Helden der Nacht, Noctua. Und dann nicht auch lauter. Fragt Charles nach Neuigkeiten. Charles, ich komme ja schon. Oh, kann ich die jetzt auch eigentlich machen? Ich grüße dich, kann ich dir helfen? Erzähl mir das von dir. Ich führe die sechs Kompanie an und ich bin für die Logistik zuständig. Du kannst mich helfen nennen. Hauptsächlich kümmere ich mich um Tross, die Ro Ressourcenverwaltung und die Dokumentation von allem. Aber du hast ja gesehen, in welchem Zustand uns das ist. Da der Großmeister viele unserer Kräfte eingespannt hat, haben wir chronische Personalmangel. Zugleich verfügen wir über zu viel Inventar gegen ein wenig Hilfe hier und da bin ich also zu einem Tauschgeschäft bereit. Ich nehme jeden, der Erfahrung mit Problemlösung hat. Mit etwas Glück können wir unseres stellvertretenden Großmeister so ein wenig entlasten. Aber zuerst musst, ich dir, musst du dir unsere alle Vertrauen verdienen. Wie wäre es, wenn du erstmal mit kleinen Erledigungen für Bürger anfängst? Dann kann ich es immer nicht machen. Alter, ich habe Stromstrecken besiegt. Bruder, das Zeit kostet mich. Aber ich mache Schlieder. Und da komm her. Ich nehme sie wenigstens an, dass ich mich nicht vergesse. Es gibt noch so viel zu putzen. Was ist denn? 
weiß sicherlich von den anhaltenden Angriffen durch die Monsterbanden über die gesamte Dauer der Sturmschreckenvorfalls hinweg. Auch wenn der Sturmschreckenvorfall jetzt beendet ist, wenn wir die Monster erfolgreich in die Flucht geschlagen haben. Die Monster haben während ihrer Überfälle eine beträchtliche Anzahl an Barrikaden außerhalb der Stadt errichtet. Während die Monster zurückgeschlagen wurden, werden diese Barrikaden nicht gerade von selbst verschwinden. Wir können sie nicht unbegrenzt hier stehen lassen, besonders jetzt, da in der Stadt wieder Normalität einkehrt. Unglücklicherweise sind die Ritter unterbesetzt. Es gibt einfach keinen, der die Aufgabe übernimmt. Als unser Ehrenritter wäre es dazu bereit, diese Barrikaden zu beseitigen. Es ist, wäre mir eine Ehre zu dienen. Gesprochen wie ein wahres Mitglied des Orden Favonius. Ehrenritter, du hast meine Dankbarkeit. Zack. Taverne betreten. Charles, mein Freund. So, you've got a taste for adventure too, huh? Immer. I must say, the patrons have been in a bit of a buzz lately. Though the topic on everyone's lips is more of an urban legend than actual news. Even minding my own business, I still end up hearing all about it. Uh-oh. It's not one of those scary urban legends, is it? <laughs> if so, Paimon needs to take a deep breath first. <laughs> it's not a particularly scary story, no. At least... Not for most people. It's the tale of... The Dark Knight Hero. Ah! Paimon, daran ist auch nichts furchterregendes. Huh? Did the bartender just say something? <laughs> you weren't even listening. Anyway, the Dark Knight Hero. It is said that he appears in the middle of the night to fight evil and uphold justice. But to be honest, I don't have much interest in such rumors. <laughs> Unless, of course, he can help take care of the more belligerent patrons after they've had a few too many. <laughs> I would happily take that as proof of his existence. Hat schon einmal jemand den Helden der Nacht gesehen? I'm told that there have been a handful of sightings, but in the depths of night, no one can get a good look at him. <laughs> Perhaps that's why he only appears at night. <laughs> Nevertheless. The sightings confirm that the Dark Knight hero is more than just a groundless rumor. <laughs> anyway, that's more or less everything I know. If you want to know more, ask around in the plaza. Oh, I need to serve some customers. Dark Knight hero? Seems like your standard cookie cutter urban legend. But just a little darker. <laughs> Wonder who it could be. Once you're ready, let's head out to the plaza and ask around. Ali wie das Held in der Nacht. Ich bin 20 geworden. Ich bin doch nicht fragen. Anthony. Keine schlechte Ausbeute heute. Ah, was machst du denn hier mitten in der Nacht? Was machst du erst? Ah, ich mach doch gar nichts. Ach, hast du mich ja eh schon ertappt. Das ist ein ganz normales Wasser. Ich habe keine Ahnung, warum die Leute denken, das wäre ein Wunschbrunnen. Wenn sie ihr Geld so verschwenden wollen, können sie sie mich auch direkt in die Hand drücken. Ich brauche das Geld. Ich hoffe, du kannst das Geheimnis für dich bewahren. Wofür brauchst du all die Münzen? Wegen Anna, meiner Schwester. Du hast sie vielleicht tagsüber getroffen. Sie hat eine schwere Krankheit und kommt oft her, um sich zu wünschen, dass sie ihr bald besser geht. Du musst es ausgerechnet sie treffen. Sie ist ein gütiges und liebesvolles Mädchen. Ich würde gern ihren Platz einnehmen. Mit den Münzen kann ich wenigstens Medizin kaufen. Tagsüber gehe ich natürlich eine ordentliche Arbeit nach. Falls mir die Götter hierbei zusehen, hoffe ich, dass sie mir verzeihen können. Margaret, weißt du was? You want to find out about the Dark Knight hero? Get on. Look no further. It's me. I am the Dark Knight hero. Du machst wohl Scherze. <laughs> You're right, I'm not. <laughs> I was... <laughs> Jokes aside, I do think that the Dark Knight hero and I have one thing in common. What's that? 
It's the way he sticks to his principles. Coming out here night after night, fighting for justice, keeping Mondstadt safe. Wow, so you're a nocturnal vigilante too? <laughs> <laughs> no. I just mean he must be seriously rich. Why is that? Batman. People only start worrying about spiritual fulfillment once they have enough material wealth. <laughs> it's the same in every hero story, isn't it? Du wolltest einfach nur angeben. <laughs> no, it's nothing like that. I just have too much time on my hands these days. Same difference. You are the boss of the cat's tail after all. Why don't you ask the guards at the city gate? They do night shifts all the time. They must know something. Ja, ja, hier blinkt doch was, hab ich doch gesehen. Noch ein Buch. Noch eine Quest. Was will der hier? Was gibt's? Hast du von dem Sch Sturmschreckenruin gehört? Es sind diese Ruinen von Monsters. Wer ein Sturmschrecken dich zu seinem Zuhause gemacht hat, war es in einem wirbelnden, unpassierbaren Sturm gehüllt. Keiner konnte hindurch, sodass das wertvolle Kristall erst darin nicht abgebaut wurde. Ich habe Leute sagen hören, dass der Sturm um den Bereich verschwunden ist. Das sollte ein toller Moment sein, um die Erstader zu suchen. Aber weil so viele Stellen in der Stadt repariert werden müssen, sind die Dienste der Schmiede viel gefragt. Schutz kann das Fort auch nicht alleine halten, also kann ich nicht weg. Was sagst du, Reiser? Willst du gehen und nachsehen? Falls du Kristall erst findest, bringst du etwas davon mit. Ich werde es übernehmen. Mein Dank. Die Kristallärzte sollten auch dabei helfen, die Stadt formen und sie neu aufzubauen. Krieg ich doch alles hin. Sworn, mein Freund. Guten Tag, womit kann der Ritterorden dir behilflich sein? Was weißt du über den Helden der Nacht? Hm, von dem habe ich nichts gehört. Ich bin überhaupt nicht mehr auf dem Laufenden. Lawrence? You wanna know about him? Yes. In fact, I'm one of the few who has seen him with my own two eyes. Great! This is the guy we need to talk to! So, just who is the Dark Knight hero? Whoa, slow, slow down. Let me start from the beginning. Well, I was patrolling one night when suddenly I heard something. I rushed over to check it out. I saw a gang of suspicious looking fellows who looked like they were up to no good. So I quickly hid. Hid? You're supposed to be a guard. That was when <clears throat> he appeared. He was dressed in black from head to toe, perfectly hidden in the night. The way he crept up on those bad guys must have felt like a living nightmare. Wow. Guess what I did next. Du bist davon gerannt. Du hast ihm geholfen. <laughs> I would probably have just gotten in the way as far as the Dark Knight hero is concerned. So instead, I headed to the Knights of Favonius's residence. Glaubst du, der Held der Nacht könnte ein Ritter Correct. sein? I thought surely someone with such a strong sense of justice and who voluntarily protects Mondstadt is exactly the kind of person you'd find in the Knights of Favonius. <sighs> but it seems I was wrong. I checked everywhere, and there were no signs of anyone having left the building. So you're saying whoever it is can't be from the Knights of Favonius after all? Yes. <sighs> but I just can't understand. Why would someone like that not want to join the Knights? Ah, uh, it's bestimmt die Luke, oder? I'm sure they would warmly welcome someone of his abilities. So, the point you're trying to make is, you don't know who the Dark Knight hero is either? Hey, don't be like that. At least by talking to me, you've ruled out a few more people. Anyway, try asking at the flower shop. I heard a girl there's been talking about the time he rescued her. 
Ich sag, bestimmt die Look. Flora, wo du gerettet? Über wen den Hellen der Nacht? Willst du mir eine Geschichte erzählen? Da war es doch Donner. What's wrong with me? Why can't I get him out of my mind? <lacht> uh, hello. We'd like to ask you about the Dark Knight Hero. My hero? Oh, sorry. Just hearing his name gets me lost in thought. Hang on, how did you know who I was talking about? Is it that obvious? <lacht> oh no. What am I going to do? If Master D. Luke ever finds out. Also doch, die Luke, wie ich dachte. Huh? What's D. Luke gotta do with this? Uh, well, I guess I might as well spill the beans then. <lacht> Ging aber leicht. I used to think D. Luke was the one for me. But ever since the time I was rescued by the Dark Knight Hero, I... I just don't know anymore. Wow, Lee, you saw the Dark Knight Hero? For real? What's he like? It all happened so fast. I was so scared. All I remember is seeing a flash of fire. But I felt safe. I only saw his silhouette, but it felt so familiar. Yeah, it's is the look. Feuer, was war das vielleicht ein göttliches Auge? Who knows? Now that you mention it, a pyrovision does seem like a good explanation. <laughs> It lit up the whole area in an instant. I remember that very well. Is the look. Okay then. Well, thanks for the intel, Donna. So, based on what we know so far, all we need to do is find a wealthy, vision-wielding vigilante who's not one of the knights. The look. Hmm. Nope, still no idea. Ach, komm, Paimon. But we already asked so many people. Guess we gotta see for ourselves. Let's take a look around the city at night time. If we're lucky, we just might bump into him. It's finally time to meet up with everyone. Paimon even dreamt of making the film last night. If Paimon remembers right, we're meeting at a Hotel de Boer. Let's get going! Chill, chill with that mission from event. Was uns alles spoilert. Prolog, Prolog. Und das sind die Setquests. Aber wir machen. Genau. 18 bis 6 Uhr muss ich warten. Wir wissen doch alle, wer es ist. Es kann nur einer sein. Mr. Diluc. After managing to steer clear of the guards' patrol route, I never anticipated I'd run into you instead. Das habe ich mir doch gedacht. Ihr seid der Held der Nacht. Dark Knight Hero? Sounds awfully derivative to me. Please tell me you didn't come up with that. How is this the first you've heard of the name? Every man in his dog and Mondstadt is yapping about the Dark Knight Hero. <laughs> I do not concern myself with idle chatter. 
Though, I suppose I may take the idleness of others as a sign that peace prevails. Huzzah! The great mystery of the Dark Knight Hero of Mondstadt! We solved it! Now then, Mr. Dark Knight Hero! Please, stop calling me that. Seriously, it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Not surprised. It's the stupidest superhero named Paimon's ever heard. You should come up with something more original. Batman. Like, um, Captain Pie. <laughs> Captain Pie. Captain Pie. Captain Pyro. <laughs> Tell us, Captain Pyro, what happened here today? <sighs> it was the Abyss Order. Them again? I don't know what the devil they're plotting this time. It seems they're performing some initial reconnaissance. Considering that I've proven myself to be one step ahead of them on countless occasions, their persistence is unusual. I assume so, unless you're aware of any other Dark Knight heroes around these parts. The Knights are, for the most part, an utterly incompetent bunch. <laughs> I cannot trust them to take this matter over. <sighs> That's not my point. I'm not doing this to impress anyone. Well, I hope this conversation has been of service to you. Because I would like to ask for a favor in return. Oh? Oh? What is it, Master D. Luke? Your wish is our command! Uh -huh. Paimon. You must keep my identity a secret. <laughs> Above all, it is crucial that you do not let the Knights of Favonius know I am connected to any of this. Dieses Geräusch. <laughs> What's that sound? Yikes! Have the Abyss Order sent back up already? They appear to just be small timers. You should have no trouble dealing with them. I cannot afford delays on account of a few lackeys. I shall have to let you take care of them. Remember, don't tell a soul. Hey, you're just gonna leave us like this? Greetings. I thought I heard something, so I came to check it out. Did you see anything out of the ordinary? Nope. Nah, uh Not here. Nothing. <laughs> Silch! Unless you're looking for the Dark Knight hero, in which case... The Dark Knight hero? You saw him? Oh! Uh... The Dark Knight hero is... Uh... Her! You! The hero who safeguards Mondstadt from the shadows. On behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I thank you for your service to this city. <laughs> uh, it's nothing. Really, you're too kind. Wait a second. Aren't you the traveler that just arrived in the city? Rumors were circulating about the Dark Knight hero long before you ever arrived here. Oh. Uh... Why would you lie to me about that? Mm, never mind. You don't seem like bad folks. <laughs> but I do hope you will visit the Knights of Favonia soon, where we can discuss the Dark Knight hero situation in more detail. You know, some things are best not discussed in public. <sighs> Duty calls. I must be going. Stay safe, traveler. Seems like Huffman has something he really wants to say to you about the Dark Knight hero. Better head over to the Knights of Avonius and see if you can find him. Huffman, wo bist du? Na, gleich haben wir dich. Sprich mit Hufmann. 
Geilsten aber einfach Hoffmann. Deutsch wäre einfach Hoffmann und nicht Hoffmann. Hoffmann! Hoffmann. Hoff. Oh, it's you two. Thank you for coming. So, the Dark Knight Hero. Do you have anything else you're able to share with me? Du wirst dich erst fragen, ob es einen besonderen Grund gibt. Kein Problem, aber wir wissen wirklich nichts weiter über ihn. Ah, yes, of course I should fill you in first. Apologies for my appalling lapse of etiquette. The situation is... Mm. Here, take a look at this. Jeez, what horrible handwriting. An den Helden der Nacht, der Fragezeichen, hat er längst seit deinem heuchlerischen Feldzug der sogenannten Rechtschaffenheit tatenlos, Fragezeichen. Wir Fragezeichen dich hiermit heraus und werden Fragezeichen abends einen Angriff auf Mosses Haupttore starten. Wenn du tatsächlich so einen deiner Gerechtigkeit denkst, sollst du unsere annehmen und dich nicht verstecken. Erscheinst du nicht, werden die Monsters an deiner Stelle den Kopf hinhalten müssen. Hm. Let me take a closer look. Huh? Hm. Indeed. Although this is written in the common tongue, it appears that a cipher has been used in many places. Nevertheless, one can grasp the general message from the non-ciphered portions alone. This is a war declaration from the Abyss Order to the Dark Knight Hero. Does that mean the bad guys want the Dark Knight Hero to go away forever and ever? <sighs> Something like that. Thus, we are hoping to contact him as soon as possible so that we can attempt to coordinate a response. After all, this matter no longer concerns merely the Dark Knight Hero himself. It impacts the entire city of Mondstadt. Thank you for the information. If you find out anything at all, come and find me. Hoofman, du bist ein guter Kerl. Am Schluss ist einer von denen. Geh zum Weinguten Morgen, bitte. A war declaration sent by the Abyss Order? This is not good news at all for Master Diluc. Quick, we should go tell him right away. Yeah, four stick fuel. Wir kommen. Als ob ich dich sterben lasse. Die Look war auch mega cool. Habe ich echt gern benutzt. Aber dann kam Aratake Ito. Und der macht viel mehr Spaß irgendwie. Ich liebe seinen Kampfstil. Noch eine Sidequest. Adelinde. Säubere den Ort nochmal, ich will, dass er dieses Mal makellos ist. Ich übergeht es um einen guten ersten Eindruck. Entschuldigung, Adelinde. Wir werden diesmal sorgfältig sein, Adelinde. Was ist denn? Oh, hallo Reisender, willkommen auf dem Weingut Morgenbrüte. Der Sturm mag vorüber sein, aber hier auf dem Weingut beseitigen wir noch immer das Chaos, welches angerichtet hat. Ich versuche die Aufräumarbeiten zu organisieren, aber diese Mädchen, sie... Entschuldigung, Adelinde. Wir werden dieses Mal sorgfältig sein, Adelinde. Ja, da hast du bereits gesagt. Vielen Dank dir. Warum findest du jetzt nicht etwas mehr Anstrengung auf das Saubermachen, anstatt dich hier über mich... Hier, dich hier bei mir zu entschuldigen? Eieiei, mein, Engl äh, mein Deutsch. Diese Kinder, uh, sie sind so schlampig. Ich weiß nicht, wie wir das alles in diesem Tempo schaffen sollen. Und auch danach muss ich noch drin sauber gemacht werden. Ich kann helfen. Weißt du, wie man kehrt? Er ähm, streicht das. Wir haben so wenig Arbeitskräfte, dass ich jede Hilfe nehmen sollte, die ich kriegen kann. Folge mir hinein, es gibt hier auch viel zu, zu reinigen. Oh, jetzt werde ich schon zur Putzkraft hier. Reingeholt. Der Bodenbretter sind wirklich schmutzig. Reinige alle Flecken. Windblade. 
Ich habe gar nichts gemacht. Hartnäckig. Hier gibt es auch andere Bücher. Ui, ewige Jugend. Alter, hier ist ja alles voll mit Büchern. Und das nächste. Und noch eins. Ai, ai, ai. Ich sammle hier Bücher wie noch was. Warte mal, wenn ich gedrückt halte, dann hätte ich aber hätte ich doch gleich sauber machen können. Ich voll fasten. Ah, ja. Fertig, alles erledigt. Wundervoll, das war eine große Hilfe. Ich kann mir nicht vorstellen, wie lange ich selbst dafür gebraucht hätte. Wenn ich die Mädchen dazu gebracht hätte, es zu machen, wer weiß, wie viel Gegenstände sie es aber jetzt am Ende zerstört hätten. <lacht> Dank dir nehmen bitte das. Ich entschuldige mich dafür, dich einen Besuch mit der Arbeit des Dienstmädchen vom Weingut zu belasten. Das nächste Mal, wenn du uns besuchst, wird dein Weingut makellos sein. Kein Problem, war eine kurze Quest. Und gute Abenteuer, Epis. Nehme ich immer gerne an. Natürlich gibt es auch eine Quest. Katastrophe. Der Schirm ist wirklich lästig. Was ist denn? Hm, ach, du bist das Reisender. Meister Diluc hat dich erwähnt. Er meinte, du wärst ein erfahrener und fähiger Abenteurer. Ähm, ich komme vom Thema ab. Bist du also zum Weingut Morgut gegangen, um ein, etwas Wein abzuholen? Entschuldigung, aber das ist keine eine schlechte Zeit. Wegen des Sturms sind die drei Straßen, die vom Weingut wegführen, nicht passierbar. Der Ort Favonius konnte die Hindernisse, in die der Wind herbeigeblasen hatte, schnell beseitigen, aber die Monster in der Nähe haben sich aus irgendeinem Grund auf der Straße gesammelt. Die Leute kommen um die Gegend herumgehen. Aber für Wegen mit Ladung ist es unmöglich zu passieren. Die von uns bestellten Zutaten können nicht geliefert werden. Es ist äußerst frustrierend. Aber ich habe von deinen großen Taten gehört und ich kenne deine Fähigkeiten. Also vielleicht, falls du willst, kannst du es schaffen, die drei Straßen wieder zu öffnen. Jo, werde ich übernehmen. Alter, ich bin eine Maschine. Wundervoll, danke für deinen Willen, mir zu helfen. Ich habe hier drei Händlerrouten auf der Karte markiert. Bitte hilf uns. I take it you're about to inform me of the war declaration from the Abyss Order. Si, senor. I'm aware of it. Though I appreciate you for taking the trouble to come all this way. What? The Dawn Winery's intelligence network extends beyond commercial matters. Great! So, what's the plan, Master Diluc? I'm open to suggestions. You should doch mit den Rittern zusammenarbeiten. Da sollte ihr lieber so lange auf den Weingut bleiben, bis die Wogen geklärt sind. No. That would be playing right into the hands of the Abyss Order. They know full well that we don't exactly see eye to eye. They're using this as a means to force me into making an appearance. If my identity were exposed, all my future activities would be subject to some degree of interference from the Knights. After all, no powerful organization wishes to be outdone by someone from the outside. Ooh. The Abyss Order has really dealt you a tough hand this time. What a sneaky little bunch those guys are. There is a way. But for it to work, I need some more information. Specifically, I need to decipher the obscured portions of the Abyss Order's war declaration. Obscured portions? You mean the bits Paimon can't read? It must be a cipher only understood by members of the Abyss Order. Used to spread messages within the organization. What the Herausforderung etwa an einer der ihren gerichtet? It's not simply a war declaration, but also a notification to their own. When you take a stand that makes you a hero to one party, you also become a villain to the other. And since I've been the Abyss Order's enemy for so long, they've made me the target 
around which they can rally their troops and unite their strength. Wow! Seems like it takes a lot of brains to be a superhero, huh? <laughs> I understand my enemy well, is all. As the saying goes, heroes and villains are two sides of the same coin. So what are we gonna do about the intel that's written in gibberish, then? How do we... un... gibberish... fy... it? Simple. When you don't understand something, you ask. I've already tracked down one of their strongholds. If you're interested, feel free to come along. Yep. Regeln wir das kurz. Da. Tempel des Löwen. This is the place. Abandoned ruins like these are precisely the kind of place the Abyss Order likes to camp out. Come on, there's no time to lose. This is the place. Abandoned ruins like. Come on. Falsche Knöpfchen. Excuse me. Lass mich rein. Ah, den haben wir. Achso, das war hier, okay. Nur Feuer. Krieg mal hin. Die Luke ist Feuer. Easy. Vielleicht eine Kiste gefunden, ne? Da kommen wir nicht durch. Unsichtbare Wand. Ich hab schon wieder Bock auf die Look. Ich hoffe, mein erster Fünf Star von dem Standard ziehen ist die Look halt. Unser Heer wäre auch nicht schlecht. Ich hab die gar nicht benutzt. Weil ich hab gehört, ihr Moveset soll nicht so geil sein. Aber von außen finde ich sie so mega. Sieht so cool aus. Sehr schön. Aber es ist alles ohne den guten Stuff, ey. Der ganze Urgestein. Das braucht man. Das 
Und das macht wieder dein Schild. Gut. Ja. Abgrundmagier Landrich. Krieger. Auch Putt. Eine Kartoffel. Hey, Kumpel. Der Ding ist Schild hier die ganze Zeit. Ey. Oh, jetzt noch Wasser. Also gut, Nightshirt. Verloren. Keine Chance. Nice. How did you find me here, Favonian scum? I am no knight of Favonius. Now start talking. Your plan. What is it? I see you received our letter. But if you think I'm going to let you in on our secrets, I'm afraid you're quite mistaken. <laughs> you appear to have misunderstood the situation you're in. Nimm die brennende Hand. Did you just use a pyro vision to shoot fire from your hands? <laughs> it burns! Folter. Let's see how long it takes for you to crack. Nimm die brennende Hand noch einmal. Stop! Stop! Please! Pain! I beg you! Make it stop! Jetzt frag ihn nach seinem Pain. I'll talk! I'll talk! Ow, ow, ow! Please! Stop! I'll tell you everything! Be... Be... A We've amassed a force bound by a shared hatred for the Dark Knight hero. They, they will march on the Mondstadt city gates at 10 p.m. tomorrow night. That's everything I know. Please, don't make me suffer those flames again. That's it? Well, I doubt you'd be foolish enough to keep anything else hidden. Da war nichts drin. Sehr gut. Fünf, sehr schön. Zehn werden schöner, aber okay. Now that I have the information I need, I must prepare. I would be grateful if you could keep me updated on how the Knights of Favonius respond to this matter. Yes, Master Diluc, sir. Anything you say, Master Diluc, sir. <laughs> Why are you acting so strange all of a sudden? Aber Palmer hat gesehen, wie du jemanden gefoltert hast. In, in light of what just went down here a moment ago, <laughs> Master Diluc has officially reached number one on Paimon's people not to tick off under any circumstances list. <laughs> Das war für die kleine Palme zu viel. Ja, was wir machen? Sprich mit Hoofman. Okay. Hoofman! Ich komm schon. Where are you, my friend? If we do not make contact with the Dark Knight hero soon. Hmm. Wie wird der Ritterorden auf die Haus Herausforderung reagieren? Ah, it's you two. I must admit, this issue of the Dark Knight hero is proving to be something of a headache. We've just held a meeting to decide on an appropriate course of action. Can you guess what it is? Ihr wollt so tun, als wäre nie was etwas geschehen. Ihr wollt euch mit dem Helden der Nacht zusammentun. No, that would send a signal that the Knights are in favor of the Dark Knight's hero's continued presence in our city, which we are not. Encouraging this kind of individual heroism undermines the knight's authority. Oh, well, what's the plan then? Find out the Dark Knight hero's true identity and offer him our protection. Protection? He seems to be doing just fine without your protection so far, you know. <sighs> well, since you've aided the knights in the past, I might as well just tell you. 
The offer of protection is just a ruse in order for the Knights of Favonius to take over full and exclusive responsibility for this matter. You aren't gonna let the Dark Knight hero be all heroic and stuff? Why not? Firstly, to show the might of the Knights of Favonius, to prove to the people that without the Dark Knight hero, they can still rely on the Knights to maintain peace and harmony. Secondly, the Abyss Order have no mercy in their hearts. Well, if anything happened to the Dark Knight hero, it would only serve to further their nefarious ambitions. Gosh, Paima never knew the life of a knight involved so much untold anguish before. But none of this will work if we don't establish the Dark Knight hero's true identity in time. There's no need to despair, Huffman. Just follow my plan and everything will be fine. Kaya weiß, was ist. Ah, Captain Kaya. Der ist auch so ein Fuchs. Lately, Master Diluc has been working the bar at the Angel's Share every night. All I need you to do is keep him in your sight. Think you can manage that for me? <laughs> uh, yes, Captain Kaya. But does that mean that Master Diluc is the Dark Knight hero? Who knows? It's just a hunch. I've been known to be wrong on occasion. Wow. Geht zum I don't feel so we saw a whole new side of the Knights of Favonius today. But Paimon doesn't understand. How is Kaya so sure he knows who the Dark Knight hero is? We need to get to the winery and tell Master Diluc as soon as Paimonly possible. Ich krieg den nicht, oder? Doch. Uh, das sind auch zwei. Sehr schön. Sehr, sehr schön. Eine Pause, aber erst dann eine echte Pause, wenn man zuvor auch richtig gearbeitet hat. Und so spielt kein Unterschied zum Faulenz. <lacht> ne, hast du mir kein Item gegeben, Mädel. Manche Leute sind so nett. Und verschickt einfach mir so. Meister Diluc, ich komme ja schon. Und wieso kennt Kaya dein Identity? Yes, about Kaya. <laughs> I should have known he would see this as the perfect opportunity to get back at me. Sounds like there's a bit of bad blood between you guys then. I shan't get into that now. More importantly, the Knights of Favonius are responding more or less as I had anticipated. All we need to do now is think of a counter plan. Ihr sollt euch erst einmal nicht mehr in der Taverne blicken lassen. That won't work. It will only arouse the Knight's suspicion if I don't show up as they're expecting. That's what Kaya is counting on. Hmm. So what are we gonna do? Patience. Let me think for a moment. Hmm. If they intend to monitor me, then so be it. We can use this to create the perfect alibi. What's an alabla? An <laughs> alibi? If you want to find out, Maybe you can do me a small favor first. Oh, come on! Why do you love cliffhangers so much? In Mondstadt, mist flowers are most commonly found in a region just northwest of the winery. If you could gather some for me, I'd be most grateful. I will make other preparations here in the meantime. Jetzt was brauchen wir? Gibt die Look 4 Eisnebelblümchen? Ah, gleich hier. Keine Angst, ich habe schon immer welche dabei. Deswegen sammle ich ja immer alle. Immer alles mitnehmen. Ah, you're back. 
Allow me to introduce the winery's master brewer. So many mist flowers. Great. I can't wait to see how this turns out. So, are you certain the equipment can withstand this level of purity? Oh my, my goodness. The winery owner himself is addressing me directly. Uh, don't worry, sir. It is always my honor to serve you, even if it means risking my life. Huh? What's so life-threatening about this? Uh, please, excuse me. I must get to work. <laughs> What's he gonna do with a bunch of mist flowers? Long story short, a few days ago, the winery was experimenting with some new flavors. They wanted to see if mist flower can truly add a crisp and refreshing taste. Sure enough, they discovered that the flower's extract is truly potent. So the new batch is selling like hotcakes? No, not potent in terms of attracting customers, but slimes. Slimes need to extract elemental energy to survive. For them, this substance is simply irresistible. So I thought to myself, I wonder how much trouble I could cause now that I know this. <laughs> Yikes! What was that noise? Oh, cold! So cold! <laughs> oh, Master D. Luke, purification complete, sir. But the equipment's... Marvelous work. Don't fret about the equipment. I shall have my butler order more immediately. Butler, Batman's like... Marvelous! Jelly ho! Spiffing! Somebody fetch the butler! Paimon never knew you had to be so well-spoken to get a job in the alcohol industry. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. Mist flower extract. Or, for our purposes, elemental bait. Wow! It really has a strong elemental... lift. Can we test it out? Sprinkle a little on the ground over there. Careful, just a small amount. And then... How long does it take before... Hook, hook. Holy moly, it really does attract slimes! And even more than we expected. It appears the potency is greater than anticipated. We'd better get rid of them before they wreak havoc on the manor. Nicht schlecht als das. Ich bin der Killer. Die große Schleime zerstören. plan is... And so, I expect it to all go down without a hitch. Hmm... Are you sure it will work? You're the only person in the plan! I have persevered alone from the start. Now, I alone must face what lies ahead. Well, if you already made up your mind... But, until that moment comes, we can still help you out where we can, isn't that right? Genau. I am indeed indebted to you. I shall see you at the tavern, as per the plan. Let's wait until evening to meet Master Diluc at the tavern. Los geht's. Machen wir den Abgrund fertig. Aber für Storybook muss 23 sein. Das ist noch mega lang. Ich bin immer noch nicht 
21 oder? Nee. Ich habe ein paar Sachen vergessen. Oh, oder? Ne, ich brauche 1440. Wenn ich die 60 bekomme, bin ich immer noch knapp drunter. Ey, Katastrophe. Immer knapp an Urgestein, du. Bis 19 Uhr. Klick mal hin. Alter, hier sind auch wieder Leute Mission. Greetings, Mr. Hoffman of the Knights of Favonius. To what do I owe the pleasure at this hour? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm merely procrastinating. I thought I might indulge myself with a beverage or two. Ah, traveler. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, we were in the mood for an evening stroll. What would you like to drink? I'll have a dandelion wine, I suppose. Ooh, Byron wants apple juice. Oh, but Paimon forgot to bring her coin pouch. Do you have any more on you? Can I answer? Apologies. This? We do not give credit here. Well, in that case, let this be my treat. No need. We'll be back in a jiffy. Husband showed up just as expected. Okay. Remember the plan? Go to the city side gate and place the elemental bait. Whoa! You used all of it! This is gonna be pretty epic. <laughs> Yikes! Here comes the slimes! Quick, let's get to the tavern before anyone spots us! Captain Kaya is no doubt a formidable knight, but he also brings us more than his share of hassle. Uh, no, no, this isn't right. I should not be talking about my superior in such a manner. If he were to overhear me... We're back! Is my apple juice ready? <laughs> One moment. <laughs> Mr. Huffman! Mr. Huffman! A situation at the side gate! Everyone to the side gate! What is it? What happened? Uh, it's... Slimes, Mr. Huffman. Slimes. You see them all the time. What's the big panic? We do, but... Sir, there are more slimes out there now than all the slimes I've seen in my life added together. <laughs> uh, whoa. Surely this couldn't be the Abyss Order's secret weapon. But I have another matter to attend to here. Oh? The matter of your dandelion wine? No, no, I, I, uh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> so this is how the Knights of Favonius conduct themselves in a crisis. The Abyss Order is encroaching on the city gates, and your response is to sit here drinking wine? It's like I've always said, the Knights are not to be trusted. I... <sighs> Master D. Luke is right. My conduct here has been... Below par. Ach, Dilo, du hast den Arm Hoffmann dirty gemacht. I shall set off at once. You did him dirty. But first, may I have a quiet word? Huh? Shh, keep your voice down. I presume you know what this is about. Please watch Dilo for me. Do not let him leave under any circumstances. I must head to the side gate, but I'll be back shortly. I'm counting on you. Good. That's him out of the way. Everything's going according to plan. I must get going too. I won't have a second to spare if I'm to be back in time. Ah. Uh, da weg. Wenn es Venti wäre, wäre es ja lustig. 
Aber du mit den sechs Fingern da, Jose. There you are. Okay, get the hell out of here. Dealing with you will be the easy part. Das gefällt mir auch. Keine Chance. Ich muss den Kampf in Gilu mit Gilu gewissen. Keine Ahnung, wo ich ihn bekomme. Time to chat. I don't know how long those slimes will keep Huffman occupied. Best get back to the tavern. <sighs> Glad that's settled. Let's get back to the tavern. You think Huffman is back yet? Ich hoffe nicht. Wir waren schnell. Wir schaffen das. Ah. It seems Huffman hasn't yet returned. We made it in time. <sighs> The situation is sorted now. I never expected that the Abyss Order's army would turn out to be nothing more than a few slimes. <laughs> <laughs> that is a surprise. Perhaps the Knight's true calling is to be slime exterminators. Who knows? Domestic pest control may turn out to be a more valuable use of your resources. <sighs> Master Diluc, please, have you no respect at all? Well, how come you're sweating so much? You didn't leave, did you? <laughs> Nein, es ist nicht einfach zu heiß hier. Schon gut, ich habe nur etwas bewegt. Is it? But if that's the case, why are you also out of breath? Uh-oh, Huffman is getting suspicious. Uh, hmm. Excuse me, sir. Might I be so bold as to inquire? Did you see Master D. Luke, uh, I mean, today's bartender, uh, did you see him leave just now? Yikes! He's asking other customers! We're done for! Master D. Luke? Why, no. He's been behind the bar this entire time. I see. Mr. Huffman, your dandelion wine. You ought to get back after this. Send my regards to the rest of the knights. <laughs> oh. Never mind. I must be going. I should report back. Here. Take this as a token of my esteem. Hmm, how odd. <laughs> Whew, that was too close. Paimon was sure we were toast. I foresaw this eventuality. 
So, all the guests here tonight, save you two, are my own people from the Dawn Winery. <laughs> They're all in on it? Not all of them. Or should I say, not all of us. Kaya, where did you come from? I just picked a good spot to quietly sit and watch the show. What? You've been here this whole time? Correct. The Dark Knight Heroes Alibi. I think it's my favorite chapter so far. <laughs> so, you plan to report everything to the Knights of Favonius? <laughs> Come now, D. Luke. You know me better than that. I have no interest in exposing secrets. I was just curious to see how far Mondstadt's Dark Knight hero would really go. And you did not disappoint. I have nothing to prove to you. Oh, naturally. I must say, though, one thing I didn't see coming is that the mighty Dark Knight hero would actually need help from other people. Sorry, we're closing. Please see yourselves out. All right, all right. I have no further need of wine to entertain myself tonight in any case. Just one last thing before I go. It had better be the very last thing. I feel strangely comforted by the fact you now have an assistant, T. Luke. <clears throat> I hope you all have a wonderful night. What was all that about? <sighs> Don't mind him. Thank you for all your help with this matter. This is a token of my gratitude. Master D. Luke? I'm in the habit of working alone. But I did enjoy having your assistance this time. In the future, if there's anything you ever need, you can come to me for help. Sofort. Das kostet schon so viel. Bis ich vielleicht irgendwann mal bekomme. Halleluja. Hartes Stück Arbeit. Sturmschrecken wurde besiegt einfach so. Wir konnten uns nicht einmal richtig präsentieren. Was ist denn? Wenn das nicht der Ehrenräter ist. Die Stürme haben sich zurückgezogen und Sturmschrecken wurde besiegt. Das ist das Gutes, ja. Aber hätte der Sturmschrecken sich nicht mehr <lacht> wehren können. Und ich dachte schon, nachdem wir die Monster um die Stadt erledigt haben, könnten wir einige Elite-Abenteuer wählen. Um ein Team aus Drachenjägern zu formen, das den Sturmschrecken herausfordert. Aber genau dann, als wir Probleme hatten, einen Heiler zu finden, wurde Sturmschrecken besiegt. Wir müssen den Bürgern auch helfen, Katzen und <lacht> Essen verteilen, Häuser säubern. Und diesen Umständen haben wir unsere Chance sicherlich vertan. Seufz. So Beachten wir das erstmal nicht. Ich habe von unseren Spähern erfahren, dass immer noch Monster im Flüsterwald herumwandern. Aber unsere Kräfte sind in der Wildnis verteilt und können nicht zurückkehren. Und mich muss sich um verschiedene Angelegenheiten kümmern. Ich dürfte ich darum bitten, in den Flüsterwald zu gehen und die Situation dort anzusehen? Ja, sicher doch. Danke, ich werde die Mission hier regeln. Vom Wind weggewesen Schilder, vom Wind weggelassene Blumen, weggelaufene Kassen streuen umher. Leider, genau wie ich es erwartet hatte. Ihr seid Maschinen. Katz. Ihr seid Maestros. Hat immer noch 20. Jetzt wie viel fehlt? Katastrophe. Ad Astra Abyss. Vierzehn, vierzehn. Ja, die sind zwei, glaube ich. You're going? We need to get back right away. Eh? Welchen Auftrag?
Mal die hier. Oder was hat er gemeint? Oder was ist der hier? Den kann ich nicht machen, kann ich nicht machen, kann ich nicht machen. Da habe ich zwölf Tage Zeit. Keine Ahnung. Paimon, du musst mir nur sagen, wohin. Ham, where do you think you're going? We need to get back right away. Ja, welcher Auftrag? Wo oh, hängt die kleine Paimon gerade noch? Was ist denn? Oh du, Reisen sollst du musst den Sturm auch gesehen haben, der uns getroffen hat. Ganz Moschel hat es ein ganz Chaos. Cyrus meint, dass wir dieses Monster dies nicht als Chance lassen dürfen, uns anzugreifen. Darauf vergibt der Aufträge ein Abenteuer, um ihre Bewegung auszuschaffen. Meine nächste Aufgabe war es, die Monster um den Tempel so tausend Winde zu beobachten. Also habe ich den Auftrag bestätigt und bin gegangen. Am Tempel sah ich, wie der eine große Gruppe von Monstern gesammelt hat und ich wollte es etwas genau sehen. Aber ich hatte nicht erwartet, das fast sofort erkannt zu werden, als ich nahe kam. Wenn ich mich nicht ein vorbeikommender Abenteuer gerettet hätte, hätte ich das nicht geschafft. Wir haben den Tempel der Tausend Winde aus Angst von Monsterangriffen verlassen und sind nach Mondstadt zurückgekehrt. Und zu diesem Zeitpunkt habe ich erkannt, dass mein Abenteuerhandbuch im Tempel vergessen habe. Aber ich konnte unmöglich so zurückkehren. Reisner, wärst du bereit, mir zu helfen, um Tempel aus der Tausend Winde zu gehen und meine Karte und mein Abenteuerhandbuch zu finden? Ich werde es übernehmen. Danke dir vielmals, Seufz. Ehrlich gesagt, es ist ein bisschen enttäuschend. Kein Problem. Warum chillt Permanent die ganze Zeit einfach da? Irgendein Rezept gekauft, hä? Ich glaube, die spackt nur die Palme, oder? Deswegen ist sie jetzt... Stimmt, die fliegt nicht mit mir. <lacht> die Look, was hat sie verbackt, glaube ich. Ah, 
Aber... Das wird wahrscheinlich mit neu laden wieder. Hoffe ich mal. Dass ich dann meine Palmen wieder habe. Aber Leute... Das war's für heute. Das war eine lange Episode. Wir haben einiges gemacht. Das verkorkste Event wird uns alles spoilert weitergemacht. Die Look Quest abgeschlossen. War ein erfolgreiches Tag. Leider sind wir nicht mal 21 geworden. Wir müssen für Story weitermachen, mindestens 23 sein. Schade. Aber das kriegen wir hin. Aber auf jeden Fall. Danke fürs Zuschauen. Hier war Robi von RNR Production. Wir sehen uns das nächste Mal. Bei Part 13 müsste es dann sein. Bye bye, ciao. Das ist, aber nie. Vergesst nicht, subscriben, kommentieren. Und jetzt, bye bye, ciao.